Maths with Niall. Today we'll be doing multiplication and division on my giant multiplication grid. And who made that? Us. Yes. It is very much homemade. Okay, very good. So how do we find our times tables? Which time tables do we have on that grid? One all the way to 12. That's one that's the first row but then we have one all the way going down to 12 two times because one so we've one got is. it in the first row and we've got it in the first column. column so there are two different ways we can work out our times tables yeah. okay well let's show everyone at home how it works how would you work out two times six so i want you to find the six times tables yes and, and then I go to my two times tables and then where do they meet? So At two 12. times six, so you find the six and you go to the two, so two times six is twelve. Yes. What about if you went to the six in the first row and you wanted to do two times six? It would still be the same because there's a twelve here and a twelve. It was in there. Six. Yes, yes. And there's also many other places where there's a 12. Yes, but it wouldn't be in the 2 or the 6 times table. So let's have a look at that. Find another 12 on your table. I'm looking for one that's really far away from 12. No, you can get one up there you want. Okay, 12 there. So what two numbers multiply to give that 12? 12 and 1. Or can you show everyone? But because you need to stand so we can see, yes? It goes like that there, and then all the way up to 12. Okay, so you've got to find the number on the left and the number at the top that line up with the 12. So 1 times 12. And here is another 12. Okay, and what two numbers multiply to give that 12? So, 4 and 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Yes. That's very handy. Can you work out for me 7 times 8? 7 times 8. So, we go to our 8 and our 7. Now stand to the side. And it goes to 56. Okay, 7 times 8 equals 56. What about 9 times 4? So come across, what number is it? 36. Oh, very good. So I have a couple of questions for you based on, well, a few questions based on number sentences. Okay. Okay, so let's have an easy question first so we all understand what we're doing. What is 3 times 5? So 15. 3 times 5 equals 15. Yeah. Is there, can you rearrange that number sentence so that we have some division? 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Very good. And yeah. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Very good. So you can do division using this multiplication grid as well. Grid as well. So can you tell me what 35 divided by 7 is? 35 divided by 7. So what are you looking for? What are you looking for? 35. Can you stand to the side so we can see? Well you've found the 35 that you need but what you should really do is find the times tables that we're dealing with. Seven. So, so 7 and then go down until you get to the 35 and now go across. So 35, 35 divided by 7 equals 5. 5, very or good. That. So what is 36 divided by 9? So explain what you're going to do. You have to go to your 9 times table until you get to 36. Very good, because we're and dividing then go by 9. to the side, which equals 4. Very good, so you find the times tables first. Good job, yeah. Naya. So okay. you don't go to any random number. So you need to find the times tables that you're interested yes. in. Okay, good. 63 divided by 9. 
9, 7. Okay, can you do 63 divided by 9 again using the first nine. column? So not that 9 times table. So this 9 times table. Yes, so move that top finger and 63 divided by 9. But you found the answer first. I want you to find the 63 from the 9. Go across, keep going. 63 and then up. Seven. Very good. Okay. Voila. 21 divided by 7. So can you explain what you're doing? I have to find 21, which is what right here. In the 7 times tables. Yes. yes. And then you go to the side and then it equals 3. And another easier way to find it is 1, 2, 3. Okay, are you speaking in an accent? Yes, I very am. <laughs> okay, um, now let's speak <laughs> normally and work okay. out um, 30 divided by 10, explaining what times tables you're going to. First I go to my 10. 1, 30. 2, 3. 30. Okay. So you've actually counted up in tens. Yeah, Can you just it. go up and show everyone that it is three? Excellent. And also, you could just take off the zero. Yes. And it will also be three. Yes. Multiple so, ways of finding the answer. Yes, that's right. And let's do a times. So what is nine times nine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stand to the side. 81. Oh, that's nice. That's in a different colour, isn't it? Oh, yes. And that's because it is the square root. It's not the square root. Is it not? It's a square number. You're not going to learn that yet. But basically, when you times a number by itself, the answer is a square number. So, now can you show us another square number and explain why it's a square number? Hmm, let's see. One. Because? One times one equals one. Yes, and another one? Um, 144. Okay, can we see why is it 144 square number? Because 12 times 12 equals 144. Oh, so when you, get, when you times a number by itself, we get those fancy square numbers. Let's do one more. Um, hmm, a hundred. Ten times ten equals a hundred. Okay, very good. All right. Quiz time. So quiz time is about being serious and getting as many as you can correct. You can't take yeah. too long, okay? Are you ready? So you can use the grid to help you. And no I'm grid have, allowed. No grid allowed. You have to use the grid. Uh, okay, on. so let's start with 6 times 8. We see though. 40. 56. No. What? How? 6 times 8. Take your time. Mm -hmm. 48. 6 times 8 is 48. 4 times 7. 28. 28. 9 times 6. 54. Very good, Naya. Yes. 8 times 9. 72. Very good. 36 divided by 4. Sixty-three divided by nine. Oh yes. What is it? Seven. Seven is correct. What about twelve divided by three? 
12 divided by 3 equals 4. I knew okay. that. You knew that one by heart. Okay, 45 divided by 9. 45 divided by 9 is... Five! Yeah! All right. Okay, one more. 121 divided by 11. 11. Excellent. Very good. Um, so see you all next time. Bye! Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, subscribe now. Bye! Don't forget to press that like button. Bye! Bye!